Hi, this is Dr. Janet Hall, psychologist and hypnotherapist and author of eight books. And my very first book is How to Stop Bedwetting. And originally it was uh, how to be boss of your bladder so that the kids could feel that they were actually solving their own problem. But parents out there know that children need help. It's not their fault that they wet the bed. But every child can be different. So we have a questionnaire towards the back of the book that asks things like, well, first of all, has the child had a complete medical checkup? Very rarely we actually find that there is a physical problem. But it's just common sense that you might check with your doctor whether your child's wetting the bed or not. Is it a physical thing? And has the child always wet the bed? We talk about the primary bedwetter, the one whose brain and bladder have just never learned to talk. Or the secondary bedwetter who may have had a long period of being dry, but then there might be some kind of problem in the family or a problem at school and the child will start to wet the bed. Uh, then you might like to rate your motivation as a parent at how much you want your child to get dry. But we don't like to take them on before they're five years of old age because that's not fair on the child's maturation between the brain and the bladder talking to each other. But if your child's over the age of five and you're motivated, I'm sure that we at the Boss of the Bladder program could help get the child motivated. So, the facts that you need to know are that one in ten children up to the age of ten are still wetting the bed and of the children who come through the Boss of the Bladder program, 90% become dry. This is a great success rate and, and we feel sometimes more excited and happy for the children and the parents when the child, after say six weeks or eight weeks, becomes dry. So, part of the program is to get the parents and an older child to read the book. The front part of the book is for the child and it has little snappy cartoons that help the child really identify with the fact that it's not them who's deliberately wetting the bed. And then there's all the facts for parents about what to do and what not to do. I mean, lots of parents have done, well, fairy tale um, um, story things like waking the child and taking them to the toilet. Now, that might be okay sometimes, as you might be, you know, on a uh, holiday or the child might be at a school camp and you ask the teacher to wake the child, but the brain of the child and the bladder don't learn, learn to talk. So typically the kind of treatment that the child needs is somebody else, um, the manager of our boss of the bladder clinic, who knows how to get children motivated and relate to them. They need perhaps a bell and a pad, that's the big mat that goes on the bed and the bell that rings. Uh, I also have uh, audio MP3 CDs which are designed to reprogram the child's mind and uh, sometimes I'll even make a personalised hypnosis um, sound bite for an older child. So here we are, boss of the bladder, how to stop wetting the bed, we know how to help you. So we hope we'll see you really soon.